let's contrast headers and footers in FrameMaker between the way it's done in Microsoft Word. We're looking at a FrameMaker document right now, and you'll see some blue text at the top of the page which happens to match the file name. Let's take a quick look at the master page, which is kind of the skeleton of the document and gives it its shape. I've just selected the text column, which is the paginating text that will flow from page to page. I've just selected the handles around the header text column, which actually has a variable in it that has a definition to drop in file name. Um, you'll notice that there's also a column that I've drawn with my drawing tools over here in the left hand margin which is rotated 90 degrees. And I'm going to make this a simple uh, page number. So I want to put in page number. Here's where I would actually enter a variable. I can do that very simply with a single click. And let's go back to the uh, body page and see what it looks like. As you can see, we have a rotated page number instead of having it in a strip at the bottom of the page. And it's actually paginating from page to page. Just that simple. Now, unlike Microsoft Word, um, our variables for headers and footers will update automatically if we rename the document. So as an example, if I decide to rename this file, and perhaps I call this Maxwell's Project, like that, and do a quick save. Notice that the moment that I do that, the very moment that happens, um, you, I'm going to use my drawing tools to highlight this, but you can actually see that where I've drawn the circle here, that it actually has indeed um, created a um, circle. And here we can see that the uh, document title is displaying properly at the top of the page. Now let's contrast this with Microsoft Word. Here we're looking at Microsoft Word with a traditional header and footer that's already been inserted. The way this was inserted is through something called Quick Parts. And basically in Quick Parts, something was chosen like file name, for instance. And that's actually why the name of the document is appearing over here. It's called My HF Document. The only problem is this does not update automatically. It's not dynamic. So if I decide to save my Microsoft Word document to a new name, I'll call this uh, Maxwell's New Word Project. You'll remember that I had a red box around the text. Well, notice that that red box is still um, highlighting the same old stale file name that's no longer correct. So in order to bring this up to date, each and every time you have to manually go into the header and footer and go hold on the right mouse key and update the field. And that's basically what's required to get correct headers and footers for individual documents created by different users. Obviously, the FrameMaker model is superior. Um, and incidentally, you can actually easily import the page layout and these headers and footers from one file into an entire book. This concludes our demonstration.